in uh, uh, congratulating my sister, uh, Honorable Emasi Mary, for coming up with this most important and timely motion. Uh, Madam Speaker, this kind of crime is not peculiar to Teso, Teso South, or by extension, Buzia County. This is an organized crime that has percolated the entire country. And wherever you go, you hear cases of crime touching on border border riders. And it is so organized that the trend seems to be quite the same. Whatever happens in Embakasi West is what you hear happening in Nyando constituency and is the same thing happening in Busia and also in other parts of the country where border border riders have become the target of some indoctrinated grouping whose main objective is to kill them and steal away their bikes. Madam Speaker, it is quite interesting that even the bikes that they have, which to a common degree are on loan, are fitted with gadgets that can trace where those bikes are. But each time the bikes are stolen, they realize that the gadget, the, 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 the tracing gadget is left somewhere and the motorbike went away. So that tells you how organized this crime is. Madam Speaker, during our very peaceful demonstrations, we commonly hear the police telling us, flexing their muscles and posturing for no reason, how the work of the police is to protect property and lives of the citizenry. Madam Speaker, when it comes to border border riders, such statements that we only hear during mandamanos fizzle in the air. And our people get killed without recourse. And we ask ourselves, where are the police during such periods? Madam Speaker, two weeks ago, and this was in the news, a DCI officer was gunned down by thugs in some estate within Eastlands. Two weeks ago. And two days ago, the police managed to trace the suspect and gunned him down. So that tells you how sophisticated our police are to a degree that they can arrest everybody, whether you do your crime in the night or you do it in the day. They have the capacity and the wherewithal to do so. But then there comes a laxity when it is not one of their own. Just because a fellow police officer was killed, they had to, 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 to return fire with fire. But when a border border rider is killed, the police all of a sudden goes dumb and we don't hear uh, from them again. So we are challenging the police. The same way they tell us during our most peaceful demonstrations that their work is to protect lives and property. Why can't they act on the same manner, in the same fashion, when our border border riders are subjected to this inhumane treatment, Madam Speaker? We understand, and this cannot be exhaustively underscored, the importance of border border sector in this country. Thousands and thousands of would-be unemployed youths have something to rely on. They provide livelihood to several families across the country. They can feed their families, they can take their children to school, they can, you know, carry out, they can build their homes and do everything using that little border border uh, pennies, Madam Speaker. And therefore, we want to advocate uh, through the police that let them also concentrate on the lives of our border border riders because they matter so much to us, just like the police also matter uh, to us in this country, Madam Speaker. And for that, I thank Madam Honorable Lemase once again, and I thank you, Madam Speaker, for the opportunity. Thank you very much, Honorable Gerard. The Honorable Omboko Milemba.